This is Telman with DearTelman.com. I just got back from a bike ride. It's one of my cross training days. I'm, you may know I'm running across the uh, United States of America uh, from LA to New York um, barefoot. And I'm going to raise $100 million for teenage homelessness. That's all going through Richard Branson's nonprofit, Virgin Unite. That's, well, why I'm standing here in my long underwear and stuff. Anyway, um, today's Dear Tellman question is from Rick. How's it going, Rick? Rick says, Dear Tellman, I've purchased a few of your and Sean Casey's programs. I signed up for your list building club. Then you sent me an email to buy Sean's book, Mining Gold. And it came with e the Easy Profit Strategies Club. So I logged in there and went completely through the 65-step process, just like they said, and nothing happened. No traffic, no money, no anything. Can you give me some good direction to go? Do I need to scrap this website and start something completely new? Would you be willing to give me some advice? Sometime when you, uh, sometime when you try and fix a lame horse, it's still lame, so I don't know what to do. Please help me if you can. Rick. Rick. Awesome question. Um, uh, thanks for writing in uh, to DearTelman.com, and video questions are even awesomer. So next one you put in, make sure, you, make sure you're making a video just for today's question and, and asking a good one. I have a gift for you, but I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet because it, it's, it's, it's related to your lame horse. Um, here's the thing. Uh, number one is when you're getting started with internet marketing, it's key to realize that it's a skill that you're building. Just like any other skill, making money is something that you learn over time, and making money on the internet is also something you learn over time. So when you say nothing happened, first of all, you're completely full of crap. And I want to be really clear on that with you, because you learned an extraordinary amount. Some things worked, some things didn't. Something happened. If you have a website, first thing that happened is you got a website. If you wrote an article and you published it, the second thing that happened is you wrote an article and you published it. Now, I don't know what all you did and didn't do, and I don't know how well you did or didn't do it, and I don't know how hard a worker you are or whether you're a slacker. I also don't know how smart or articulate you are. None of that really matters because as you learn and you practice these things more, you can learn to play to your strengths and outsource your weaknesses. And the main key thing is, you want to focus on learning and taking action so that you can get bigger and bigger and bigger things to happen. So think about it this way. You go and you learn how to build a car, you build a car, you build the car, you have the car, you get in the car to start it up, it doesn't start. Does that mean nothing happened? No. It means maybe you forgot to put a battery in, or maybe you forgot to charge the battery, or maybe you forgot to put gas in, or maybe there's one little teeny tiny wire loose in the starter and that's preventing the whole car from starting up and driving so there's a ton that happened um, now when you say no traffic no money no anything again you need to be focused on what you're learning and what you're implementing and well if you want more traffic focus your attention on how to get more traffic and go out and learn how to get more traffic so it's all about learning it's never about scrapping what you've done it's really about taking what you've done, taking what you've learned, and moving forward. We initiate at least one new project, one new website, every single week. And we build on everything that we've learned previously in order to do that. We create new products, new email promotions, we put new press releases out there, write new articles, start up new pay-per-click campaigns, we do new viral marketing campaigns, some things work, some things bomb, we do teleseminars, some are tremendously successful, some suck and make next to no money at all. Occasionally, we do a teleseminar that does nothing, believe it or not. So don't beat yourself up for something not working. Focus on what you've learned. Now, as far as trying to fix um, a lame horse, is it still lame so I don't know what to do? Don't be lame, okay? If you have a lame horse, all you got to do is make sure it gets bitten by a zombie. And for that, you're going to get the zombie pet shop, Rick. That's right. A zombie horse is pretty badass. It can overcome a lot of lameness. I advise you to take this zombie pet shop and put these zombie pets up on your desk. And every time you're feeling sorry for yourself or you feel like you're stuck, ask yourself, how can I zombify my business? And 
I would recommend that you, um, if you're already a member of the list building club, that you start going through it and, and utilizing it. The, the list building club is, is focused on building your email list and getting traffic to your site. Easy profit strategies rocks and you have a ton of products in there with resale rights. Um, if, if, you're, if it's if Sean's program, so you have a ton of products to sell now. All you have to do is focus on getting traffic to your site and building your list. I would recommend the List Building Club, www.listbuildingclub.com. We have an irresistible trial there right now that you can get started for next to nothing. So, uh, this is Telman Knutson. Rick, Danny's going to email you. Please give him your address so we can ship you the Zombie Pet Shop for inspiration, motivation, and zombification. This is Telman, DearTelman.com.